Infrared sensors on the Roomba to solve it. We had ultrasound. We had ultrasound on this, but we took them off because it was really ineffective. with uh, if you go to winterstech.org or Winters Technical Schools. Those in there, you any beginner, like in each, all ages pretty much, I think, starts primarily starts at fifth grade, but I mean, I think Alex started, you started in fourth grade, fourth grade, right? third. So, <laughs> actually, I think it was third, I want to say. Yeah, so, you, I mean, if, if you're interested enough, you can start at any age. Otherwise, fifth grade is good. It, but, yeah, it's, it's, actually, it's really fun because you don't... Great. Interesting stuff. Yes. Smart kids? Yes. 
Really? It's only really? smart or very smart? So the slideshow. Amazing. <laughs> How do you like your kid to be involved in something like this? It's amazing. Why? It's a, it's a great experience, especially for girls. You know, it's a great experience to learn. I mean, it helps them in the analytical ability, even in math and science in school. So it's a good thing. At Wintrust Technical Schools, we have professional software engineers that donate their time to teach programming to the kids. This is important because our K-12 through school system does not adequately teach uh, the kids how to program. Very few schools even have programming courses. In addition, we had the idea of the IROC because we wanted to have something cool for the kids to do, to be creative. Uh, reviewing robots and exploration, we put together the idea of having a maze and an obstacle course. This year, we call or had a theme on the Mars exploration and added in cool names such as the Mars Navigation Challenge and the Mars Beacon Run along with mission briefings and a speed challenge.
Congratulations. That's it. Good job, Team Boring. I heard that you used to be part of this competition. Yes. He was one of Can the original students. Yeah. One of the original the first, students. First one, pretty much. Now, what do you do now? Uh, I study computer science at Stanford. So.